Hi, party people in the place to be. I just finished my second make workshop, Introduction to Arduino and Robotics, and it was awesome. And I got some great, great questions from some of my Twitter followers, including Monica and Ingrid. So I thought I would make a quick video to answer their questions. We used the SparkFun Inventors Kit with a red board, which uses the footprint of the Arduino Uno. And their questions were, how are you picking these pins? So I thought I'd do a quick video to explain that. You can have digital and analog inputs and outputs. So the way that I figure out what pin I'm going to attach things to on my Arduino is about whether I'm planning to do a digital read or a digital write or analog read or analog write. So there are 14 pins on the right side of the breadboard, the red board that do digital reading and writing. And there are also, I believe, six pins that do analog writing and they are done with pulse width modulation. And you know which ones those are because they have a tilde beside the number. Those are three, five, six, nine, 10, 11. Then the analog inputs are on the left side of the red board, and there are six of those. They all have an A as an apple in front of them, and they are A0 to A5. So if I'm doing analog read, I use A0 to A5. If I wanna do digital read or digital write, I use zero to 13, and you can also repurpose the analog in pins as digital reads and writes as well. But the only ones I can use for analog write are three, five, six, nine, 10, and 11. And then I tell my students, try to avoid zero and one at all costs because those do serial monitor transmitting and receiving, which I like to keep empty so that I can use those for printing data and debugging my code. I hope this helps. Stay STEM-tastic. Nowhere STEM in this.